Number seven from the 2007 Higher Maths Paper 1, a reconciliation. The first three marks are just for finding the first three terms of this reconciliation. Well, that should be straightforward enough, because there's the pattern for it. The reconciliation doesn't give you the formula that will take you to any point straight away. It only lets you work out the next one. So if I want U1, I'll need to know U0, and I do. And the pattern is, to get a particular term, I do a quarter of the one before it. A quarter of 0 plus 16, which means U1 is going to be nothing in 16, is 16. U2. U2 will be a quarter of the one before it. The one before it was 16. So U2 is going to be a quarter of 16, which is 4, plus 16 is 20. And then U3 is going to be a quarter of the term before it, which was 20 now. So it's a quarter of 20 plus 16. And a quarter of 20 is 5. And 5 and 16 then makes 21. B. Part 1. Give a reason why this sequence has a limit. You can see that it's got a limit, not just from the graph that was drawn, but because the differences are getting smaller. Difference of 4, now it's a difference of 1, they're going to get smaller. The reason you're meant to state is that the multiplying number, the factor 1 quarter, is a proper fraction between 1 and negative 1. So I just have to write something like... Limit exists as the factor a quarter is less than 1 and greater than negative 1. Find the exact value of that limit of k. Well, you'll have reached k. There's two ways you could state the formula. But I'll do algebraically first of all. You'll have reached the limit when, at any particular value, when you want to work out the next value, you end up with the same value again. You'll have reached the limit when, if the value is k, and you find a quarter of it, and add on 16, the answer you get is still k. So you're stuck at that limit to solve that algebraically just by saying, well, if I take that over, I'll have 3 quarters of k is equal to 16. Not taking away the fraction this time, just doing a subtraction. So that k is going to be 4 upon 3 times 16. The 3 is multiplying, so it divides. The 4 is dividing, so it multiplies. Which means that k is going to be, and that doesn't divide in, so I'll have to go for 64 upon 3. Or if you wanted, you could put down that limit formula, b over 1 minus a. b being the number which has been added, a being the multiplying factor. So you've got 16 over 3 quarters, and then resolve that by multiplying the top and the bottom by 4, or by thinking, instead of dividing by a fraction, take it across and multiply. Either way around, 4 times the top, 4 times the bottom, 4 times the top, I'll have to put it here, 64, 4 times the bottom, of course, knocks out the 4, that's the whole point, which again gives you 64 upon 3. Or, if you like, you could say that's 21 and a third.